Uh, traveler, I've been looking for you. Listen, I need to gather some Sumeru roses. It's for my rehabilitation or something. Nahida sent me to gather them, and I was wondering if you would come with me, since you know. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, you can. Absolutely. Just keep holding on to me. Look, I'm gonna do something for you, okay? I'm gonna put my hands around your head. Just like this. I'm gonna lightly massage your scalp. Who did this to you? No one. Then, uh, uh, I think I get it. <sighs> yeah, of course you can. Absolutely. Just keep holding on to me. Huh? No, of course I'm not going anywhere. I'm right here. I'll stay the rest of the day or week, or year, if you want. Anything. I'm staying right here, okay? I'm right here. <sighs> Look, I'm gonna do something for you, okay? It might help. I'm gonna put my hands around your head. Just like this. I'm gonna lightly massage your skull. Just very lightly. Hmm. Nahida did this for me before. When I had just fallen out. Of the Shoki no Kami, she put her arms around me and massaged my skull. I resented her at first. I thought it was stupid. But after a while, it started to feel comforting. I don't really know how she did it. I'm kind of just. Working based off memory. But that's okay, right? I don't know. I just don't want to hurt you any further. You know, you really should go ahead and cry. You're on the verge of tears, aren't you? Your eyes are all red and swollen already. You've been holding it all in, shaking by yourself in bed. You should have told me you weren't feeling well. I would have gladly come by much earlier. Well, it would have been better than you gasping alone in bed like this. It's fine. I said it's fine, idiot. No, sorry, I... Uh, just rest. You'll be fine in a bit. Even idiots deserve to be comforted. I would know, seeing as I am one. <sighs> hey, good morning, sleepyhead. Well, I say morning, but it's already two in the afternoon. I'm glad you got some much needed rest. Wow. 
What got you into that state last night? When I saw you, you were literally gasping and panting and clawing the sheets. You bumped into someone from the past. Well, who? The guy who hurt you. And then, when you went to bed, you couldn't stop thinking about all the things he did to you. And each time you tried to go back to sleep, you just shot back up full of fear and alarm. This is the guy with the vial dangling from his ear, isn't it? That time when we went to the bazaar together and they were selling those earrings and you saw them and started heaving over the table. It was because of your memories, wasn't it? I had to carry you all the way back. Hmm. There's a lot of heavy weight in those memories. It's easy to tell when physical scars heal. They fold over and a touch can tell if they're alright again. But it's not so easy with the inner workings of the mind. Certain images, sounds, and places can bring you a great deal of panic. Uncontrolled panic. And you don't know what to do or how to react when they hit. That's not something I can figure out either. Maybe someone like Baizu can help you better. He could have a lot more insight than we do. I'll take you to see him, okay? No, not tomorrow. If you're feeling alright, we can pack up and head off right away. Forget the roses. I'll tell Nahida that you need my attention right now. She'll understand. You've repressed a lot of trauma. Things that you tried to brush off are coming back at you with greater force. If you keep ignoring the problem, it's just going to get worse. We need an intervention, and I'm getting it for you. Come on. We'll be there in no time. We'll talk out your problems with Baizu. Things will be alright. Get on my back, traveler. I'll bring you there. It's faster if I just carry you on my back. So don't fuss about it. <sighs> Alright. Hold on tight. You'll be okay. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I love you too. Ugh. You know I hate saying that. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna do something for you, okay? I'm gonna put my hands around your neck. <laughs> what?